Today I'm going to show you the first walkthrough for my new construction client and also we did the final inspection for their property. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna show you the first walkthrough for my new construction client and also we did the final inspection for their property, okay? Because this property or this new construction property, we will go in close within a week or two weeks time from now. So yesterday, what we did, I met them in the property and you know, we did this first walkthrough with the builder or builder representative. And also after that, we did the final inspection for from the third party for this particular new construction property okay so let me just explain to you what are the steps that you need to think or you need to point out if you are going to buy a new construction especially if the new construction is nearly finished or is nearly done this is most important thing you cannot just build the property and when the property is completely done and you just close it and then you know you have the property you can do that but in here in Florida you need to have a inspection at the same time you need to have a walkthrough which is what we did on yesterday first walkthrough for the new construction and then after you did your first walkthrough it's your choice or it's your client choice you watching here if you want to do the finals inspection with the third party you don't really have to do this one because you know once they did the new construction here specifically in let's say here in Polk County in Davenport area where my new construction or the new construction client we're gonna live at they have a state inspection already so the third party inspection or the final inspection is an option for my client which they did it so they have like a peace of mind so whatever they found in that new construction or new construction property that they are going to close which in two weeks time you know the third party inspector we will report it whatever that it needs to be done before the closing okay so this is completely option and also next week before the closing or the day before we're closing what the builder normally do is they will do the final work walkthrough okay the final walkthrough it means like when the first walkthrough when they find something wrong in the property let's say this property has something or they have missed the paint or they have like a crack here that they need fix you know the cabinet handle is loose so you know something minor and also a major problem that they need to fix before the closing so they will give like at least a week or two weeks to do the final walkthrough after they did the first walkthrough all right so this is important because if you're not gonna do do this one you don't know what you're gonna live in you know if you didn't check it at the first place because once you live in that property and you didn't do any walkthrough or inspection at least you know and then you found problem you will get frustrated right so make sure you do this option not just an option but you need to do this step especially the walkthrough so that you will know how your new construction will be you know ready by then or not the time of your closing okay so I hope this makes sense so what I will do is I I will make this video to the video which is I did yesterday and then I only want to say in this particular video is the video or the quality of the sound that I did yesterday was not the best all right just because I didn't have this mic again with me when I went there to my new construction is just because I forgot this mic with me okay so what I use is the mic here in my camera or internal camera mic which is not the best compared with this mic that I'm using right now but I hope you understand what they say and also what they are pointing so that you will understand or if your turn to have your new construction so you know that you have watched these steps with me all right so if you have any question if you have anything that you like to know all you need to do is just comment and also I hope you enjoy this walkthrough or the inspection that we did yesterday measure for the AC how cold is the air coming out versus how warm is the air going in okay now I don't do it like an AC tech does I do it just from the grill that's all I have to do I want at least a 14 degree difference. I want no more than 22 degrees. Downstairs, or excuse me, upstairs, I'm only getting nine to 12. Mm -hmm. I want at least 14, I'm not there. Downstairs, I'm getting, where is it? Downstairs, I'm getting 15 to 17. Mm -hmm. so there's about a five to six degree difference from upstairs to downstairs, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's because the air handler is a long ways away, but it's not, it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why 
coming out of the vents it's 55 degrees 56 degrees upstairs and it's 49 50 degrees downstairs so my concern with that be to just have the AC guy look at it find out why you're not getting enough air upstairs um, I know this is where you spend most of your time but I hate sleeping in hot weather so if you want to sleep in the cold it means you have to make downstairs freezing to get the upstairs cold there should be pretty a couple degrees difference I'm okay not five to six okay so that's the biggest thing I've got um, there's the picture of the lock that I talked about just missing a piece I would think they'd fix that for you um, up in the attic I and mean, you got you got a ton of insulation there's so much insulation up there it's awesome the only drawback to this house is you've got no attic storage uh, you can't put anything upstairs mm -hmm. because the insulation is really thick and it's the air in between the insulation that keeps it helps it with the with the, with the coldness mm -hmm. if you squish it by putting boxes or something up there you've ruined it okay mm -hmm. it's like a, a cat or a dog when they get really cold they fluff their hair because the air inside is what keeps them cool okay mm -hmm. or, or hot depending on what the weather is um, I had no problems with the outside panel I had no problems with the inside panel a lot of that I just really didn't find a lot um, the bolt print versus the regular bolt print means it came out of my summary that's just the AC I had no problem with the AC units themselves your water shutoff is on the is on the right side of the house so it's over here in the corner it's this little pipe right here when the handle is lined up with the pipe the water's on so if you have a leak somewhere you just run out you turn that handle so it's parallel mm -hmm. to the ground water shuts off now it'll take a few minutes because there's water in the pipes but that's how you shut your water off um, hot water heaters in the garage I got no issues with that checked all your sinks for leaks they look like the same picture but they're not they're just really close together um, no issues with sinks you do need some caulking uh, this is something they should do for you in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna change anything I think they should fix to the summary mm -hmm. just so it's yeah. easier so you don't have to worry, worry about going through the whole thing mm -hmm. even though it's not really a summary item but these are things I think they should fix for you okay mm -hmm. um, basically they cocked around it you can see the caulking they just put like this tiny tiny little bead and I don't know why because every time you pull that little lever to turn it from tub to shower you move it mm -hmm. and if you put a tiny tiny bead guess what you crack it and then that leaks so water gets on the shower walls runs down the wall goes inside there mm -hmm. and that's how you get mold okay so that needs to be fixed but again that's probably 30 cents um, had no issues with that no issues with the refrigerator no issues with the stove no issues with the with the um, vent hood dishwasher is not leaking you're not standing in water garbage disposal is fine again I talk about this um, mm -hmm. the pan is there just gotta be careful whoever installs it for you and I've seen it done many times it, it, they're, they're awkward because it's in a corner and they put it down on the drain pan and then they crack it nope get me another one because it does mm -hmm. no good if it doesn't have a drain pan mm -hmm. and then get braided hoses for it uh, which I put in here okay uh, dryer no issues that's it that's all I got one of the, by far one of the best houses I've seen and I've, I've done a lot of them like I said I see a lot of issues with new houses I just didn't hear I was I was very happy good news yeah cool. um, and I did put on here somewhere I didn't put it in the summary and I'm not going to is the gutters where's my roof pictures yeah there are no gutters on the house recommend installing gutters mm -hmm. so I do recommend getting gutters okay so how do we know about the AC if they fix it or how should we have um, so how, how you know is you want to ask for the paperwork you know what did he do okay. can I see it and then they'll put on there what their readings were mm -hmm. okay. uh, again I don't mind if there's a couple degree difference but not five or six okay. um, and usually again the, the, what they measure is they measure they'll go under the air handler to the coils they measure the coils versus what's coming out I, I don't do that I just mm -hmm. here's the return here's the blowers if I'm in this bedroom how long is it going to take to get cold and that's all I really care about I did a, a brand new house a few weeks ago and none of the rooms were giving me the right temperature all of them were low mm -hmm. and I've always told people that it's a brand new AC you shouldn't have a problem I, I don't know what's going on with these something mine so the builder called the AC guy while I was there and he put him on speakerphone and said the home inspector is saying it's not blowing cold enough he gave him the range that I'm doing he's like oh it should be colder than that it probably is on the coils 
but it's not, and I show them, here's my, I took pictures for them. Here's the readings I'm getting. So I tell them it's one of two things, almost always. There's others, but almost always it's either A, too old, that's not the case, or B, it's low on refrigerant. That's the two most common issues. Mm -hmm. Should be low refrigerant, it's brand new. Mm -hmm. The builder asked the AC guy, do you think it could be low refrigerant? And the guy said, you know we don't check that when we install new ones. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? You don't check it when you install a brand new AC unit. So if you're low on refrigerant for whatever reason, it's on you. And I find that blew my mind. How do you not check it? You're installing it. Because if you don't say anything, how much money do they save for everyone that they would have to recharge? Mm -hmm. So it's possible, it's just low on refrigerant. Mm -hmm. and, and again, if they fix it, whatever they do, it'll be in that report, added 10 pounds or added 15 pounds of refrigerant to it. Um, and then you'll know that was the issue. Um, I, I it just, Five years worth of doing home inspection just went out the window because I'm always telling people it can't be free refrigerant because it's new. No, it can be because they don't care. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they don't care. Mm -hmm. That company clearly didn't care. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so what do I want to move? I want to move, I want to move exterior doors. The screen doors does not have a lock master. Uh, no, I'm gonna change that. Recommend. Recommend repairing for proper functionality. I'll add that to the summary. And what was the other one I was going to do? Screen door need to be fixed. AC I already did. I thought there was a third one. Gutters we're not going to do because that's on you all caulking. I mean, you know what? I am going to do gutters because that reminds you when you go over with them to ask them who's doing the gutters, what's the cost of gutters. Again, going through the builder, they may be a little bit of a markup. Mm -hmm. Going to the company directly might be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Um, there are no gutters in the house. Include that in the summary. So now the only four things I think you need to look at in this entire house. Screen door doesn't lock, no gutters, AC's not blowing as cold, and you need some caulking in one of your bathrooms. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. good. So, okay. <laughs> Thank any you. Any questions? Mm, no. Once I leave, I read, block your number, and I don't answer any calls. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the video for today guys. I hope this video is helpful and also I hope you learned something in this video especially for the final inspection because this is important guys. I know this is only an option the final inspection is because like if you don't do this one you know you don't have any option from the other party or the third party not just about the builder representative you know what I'm trying to say. So the more option or the more suggestion or the more experience who will go to your property and check your property the better right if you agree smash that like button for me and also if you watch this video until this end i know it's a long video comment down below final inspection so i could see how many people who watch this video until then thank you so much for your time and once again if you need information about my inspector or who served here in central florida let me know comment inbox me in my own social media text me call me or you know get in touch with me all right so once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video peace so this is important guys, the final inspector, not inspector, final inspection, inspection. final inspection, final inspection, all right, final inspection, okay, remember that one, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say next, so let's just do it again. <laughs>